Hello guys, welcome back to CH tutorial session 26. In today's session, you can learn about exception handling in CH, different types of exception available in CH, how to handle the exception with the help of try, catch and finally block. So what is exception? An exception or exceptional event is a problem that arises during the execution of a program. When an exception occurs, the normal flow of the program is disrupted and the program or application terminates abnormally, which is not recommended. Therefore, these exceptions are to be handled. So suppose say you are having 1000 line of code and in case suppose say 200 line tip number exception is happening. But in case you are not handling the exceptions, what will happen? The first 199 lines of code will be executed and from 200 onward the remaining code will not be executed that is the problem so as and when exceptions will be occurred it will uh, premature stop the execution from that line to the remaining line of exec code execution so that is the problem so that is the reason in case you know that some exception might occur then you can handle the exception so exception will be thrown but the remaining lines of code execution will be happen it will not be stopped. Exception in application must be handled to prevent crashing of the program and unexpected result, log exception and continue with other functionality. CS provides built-in support to handle the exception using try, catch, finally and the throws block or throws keyword. CS provides a base class named exception which is later derive into other classes that major two exception classes derived from the exception class are system exception which are also called built-in exception and application exception which is also called as user defined exception so as and when you are writing some code in any of the programming language right it can be java it can be c it can be python right immediately sometime in case of any error Right, either syntax error or other error during compilation or saving the code some exception might trigger or some of the exception might be triggered only will be running those code so exceptions or it, it can be two type one is compile time and one is the run time or sometime there can be error as well which you cannot deal with right in case some internal connection is connected to be lost you want to execute some code that time error might come right so that you cannot deal in case you want to op operate on a particular file which is already open, you cannot do it. So this kind of other stuff, right? Right, which which is kind of you you your your system is getting crashed out of memory. This kind of thing you cannot deal with that. So this this co sometimes called error. So there is three type of exception or error can be there in any of the programming language. One is right check exception. Whenever you be comparing the code, that might occur. Whenever is unchecked exception, whenever you will only running the code, that exception might occur, and one is error, like which is kind of crashing the memory or crashing the system like that. So error represent conditions such as compilation error, syntax error, error in the logical part of the code, library incompatibility, infinite recursion, etc. Errors are usually beyond the control of the programmer, and users should not try to handle the error. But an exception can occur for mainly different reason. Following are some of the scenario where exception can be occur. So, so user has entered an invalid data, right? A file that need to be open cannot be found. A network connection has been lost in the middle of the communication. So these are the different kind of scenario or the reasons for which exception might be triggered. In C has there are primary four keywords available to handle exception as listed below: try, catch, finally, and throw keyword. The try keyword is used to specify a block where user should place exception code. The try block must be followed by either catch or finally. It means user can't use try block alone. Catch block is used to handle the exception. It must be preceded by try block which means user cannot use catch block, block alone. It can be followed by finally block later. The finally block is used to execute the important code of the program. It is executed whether exception is occurred or not, right? In case you are using try catch block, but in case next no exception is coming, 
right your tie catch block will be completely ignored but in case you are using tie catch along with finally so your finally block will be always executed though your exception is coming or not then throw the throw keyword is used to throw an exception customize the exception there are different types of exceptions available in CS. I have tried to write given the main important type of exceptions. System dot arithmetic exceptions. All the exception will be coming from the system predefined class. Right? These are called built-in exception. So arithmetic exception, a base class for exception that occur during arithmetic operation, such as system divided by zero exception and system overflow exception. Array type mismatch exception throws when a, a store into an array fails because the time of the store type of the stored element is incompatible with the type of the array. Then divide by zero exception throws when an attempt to divide an integral value by zero occurs. So in case you want to divide any value like 20 divided by zero, so it will be throwing that divide by zero exception an array type mismatch exception means suppose in case you are having a kind of uh, array called say uh, uh, integer but you want to store some value which is called string then it will be throwing index out of range exception it will thrown when an attempt to index an array via an index that is less than zero or outside the bound of the array suppose say you have already defined an array suppose the length is five but you want to add some element which is at index 7 or you want to just retrieve the element which is present index 7 but your length is 5 so it will be giving you index out of range exception invalid cast exception thrown when an implicit explicit conversion from a base type or interface to a derived type fails at the runtime null reference exception throws when a null reference is used in a way that causes the reference object to be required suppose you already declared a string which is null and after that you want to uh, right uh, get the size of the array so it will be throwing that one null reference exception out of memory exception thrown when an attempt to allocate memory via new it will fail suppose you do not have that sufficient memory overflow exception thrown when an arithmetic operation in a check context overflow stacked overflow exception thrown when an when the execution stack is exhausted by having too many pending calls typically indicative or very deep or unbound recursion type initialization exception thrown when a static constructor or static field initializer thrown an exception and no catch clause exists to catch it so these are the different kind of generic exceptions right which will be coming from the system class which is built-in exception might occur during different operation a user is performing in C has then how we can handle the exception so there are couple of keyword already available try catch finally and throws right so what is try catch block in C has the try block contains set of statement when an exception can occur a try block is always followed by a catch block which handles the exception that occurs in associated try block a try block must be followed by catch blocks or finally block or both a catch block can specify the type of exception to catch the type specification is called an exception filter the exception type should be derived from exception a single try block can have any number of catch blocks in case no exception occurs in try block then the catch block are completely ignored this is the syntax of try catch block so you'll be having the first statement whatever you want to operate and that you need to cover with try and then you will be using catch after the statement where you can give the exact exception name or in case you do not have the name of the exception you can give generic exception it will handle all kind of exception then you can just give the exception detail now let's try to see how we can handle the different kind of exception so what happens in case you are having so many line of code and in case the exception is trigger right from the point remaining line of code will not be executed that is the problem of the exception in case you do not handle so I'll be writing console dot write line right I can write something called code before exceptions occur right so this is my first line of code and I can end with semicolon 
and I can write one line of code called code after exception occur and so there is no exception in case you are running the code it will display you both the lines like code before exception occur code after exception occurred in the console right you could see now say I am trying to create something so that some failure will be coming or some exception will be coming so suppose say I am declaring some variable called integer a I can give some value called 20 I can define some integer called b I can give some value called 0 and then what I want to do I will be defining some integer called c where I want to divide a divided by b so what will happen right here some problem will come some exception will be coming because right 20 divided by 0 is not possible in arithmetic so as soon when you are running your code you could see the exception will be triggered here right and code before exception occur that part executed but code after exception occurred along with the exception part that is not executed so that is the problem because definitely exception might come that line right might not be executed sometime but I want to execute the remaining line of code but that will not happen in case some exception is coming and immediately if you go to your code you could see the line number 11 right system divided by zero exception that is the exception is coming okay so that is the exception is coming and what is the exception it is coming from the system class divided by zero exception attempted to divide by zero but it is not the it cannot be possible so you can copy the exception name in some notepad right and now we'll handle the exception with the help of the try catch block right so what I need to do before all your statement right you need to use try then you need to surround with first bracket and you can keep your statement here and you can end your bracket so that is the syntax for try so try will be always in your right it should enclose your statement where exception is coming then you need to handle catch so that your exception will be handled so I will be writing catch here you could see automatically giving you suggestion so you can you could give here the exception name here right and you can create some variable maybe e variable and then you can start with again second bracket and here you can give the exception right so what I'll be doing it I'll be doing console dot write line I want to print it exception e so it will be handled how it will be handled be handled by divided by zero exception that is coming from the system class you can use e dot message or e also like e dot message right I can print it out so with the help of the try I want to identify what the exception is coming then I already know that it is divided by zero exception and with the help of the catch I am handling the exception where it is already I know that is exception can I handle it might be handled now you can see that exception will be handled and your previous line of code before execution and after the execution that line of code will be executed now if you can start your execution you could see attempted to divided by zero that is the exception name right and your code after ex ex exception occur that is also executed so your exception handle and all your code will be executed similar way in case you are having five exception you can handle those five exceptions so that in case you are having total 1000 line of code right everything can be executed and some failure might come that is the reason right you are doing some uh, coding right it is not like that everything will pass always but fail is different thing and exception is different thing exception is know that you know that some right internal problem might be there it cannot handle by the program or the arithmetic or the other thing right it is right it is not the normal practice that is the reason in case user manually mistake something so that can be solved okay with the help of the exception handling and your all your code can be executed right so that is the way you can handle the exception I will discuss with other exception and I will discuss right how we can go with multiple catch, catch also so in case you already having there are so many kind of exception right in case you are want to handle with multiple exception suppose in case you are not giving anything you can give it exception generic exception so it will handle any kind of exception otherwise right there are so many exception is there so you need to give the exact exception name 
divided by 0 index out of range exception in built cast exception that is the way and as and when the exception will match that will be triggered but in case you are giving any wrong exception but your come exception is coming as different and that will not be co right that will not be handled suppose say let's comment it out first So instead of divided by 0 that is the exception is coming but in case you want to write something called uh, right uh, maybe suppose say index out of range that is the part you want to write it here right so let's try to write it here and let's see so we are trying to handle the exception with the help of try and catch but it is not the exact exception we are handling so here what problem will come you could see it will throw the error again and remaining line of code will not be because your exception is divided by 0 right but you want we are handling with index out of brain so it is not the same exception so in case you do not know the exception you can give it generic exception it will still be handled right it will with the help of generic exception it, will, it can handle all the all kind of exception in C has so and you can you could see it is handled so you can that is the way you can give multiple exception as so sorry multiple catch in the same try so one try can be associated with so many exception you can give it so that in case any exception is matching right that exception will be triggered right i can give that one again so that is the way you can give multiple exception index out of range exception maybe mm, yeah. Let's try to give it before that. Yeah. So after exception, it will not allow because exception will handle all kind of exception anyway. So now it will execute. It will still be prob no no problem because in case nothing is handled right, it will still handle by the generic exception. So that is the way you can surround right one try catch with multiple sorry one try block with multiple catch block, right? Then let's try to understand what is finally block okay so <coughs> one thing so in case there is no exception coming at all so what will happen your catch block will be completely ignored so with the help of try block you are trying to understand what kind of exception is there and with the help of catch block you want to identify the exception or you want to handle the exception right so based on the exception match right that is the part is coming but let's say in case there is no exception at all so it is 1 so it is a valid 20 by 1 equal to 20 so it's a valid uh, syntax there will be no error at all so what will happen try catch it cannot find no exception so immediately all the catch block will be completely ignored here so only you could see these two line before exception after exception the exception will not be there at all so that is the way right in case there is no exception your type type block will not able to find it and definitely all your catch block pertaining to the type block will be completely ignored so that is the right another thing of exception now let's try to give that exception divide by zero and now we'll understand what is finally block so sometime along with try catch block we can associate finally block so what is the objective of the finally block that i want to always execute that finally block right exception coming or not right does not matter i want to so some generic thing like suppose you want to always close the browser you want to always close the file so for this part with this particular step you can associate with finally block so that exception coming or not always those like pros condition will be executed and your right uh, you will be going to the normal step okay so finally block contains all the crucial statement that must be executed whether exception occurring or not a finally block must be associated with the try block user cannot use finally without a try block user should place those statement in this block that must be executed always in normal case user in normal case when there is no exception in the try block then the finally block is executed after the try block however when exception occurs then the catch block is executed before the finally block so that is the right beauty of the finally block so finally block always run whether exception is thrown or a catch block matching the exception type found it does not matter the finally block can be used to release resources such as file stream, database connection, and graphics handles without waiting for the garbage collector in the 
runtime to finalize the object. So that is the diagram of tie catch and the finally block. So right when exception does not occur, so what will happen? It will execute the finally block directly in case try catch and finally is there. In case exception is occur with the help of try block it will try to identify the exception and with the help of catch block it will solve the problem or exception then again it will finally block will be executed. So exception occur or does not occur always your finally block will be executed. In case exception does not occur your try and catch block will be completely ignored. In case exception occur with the help of try block exception will be right identified with the help of catch block it will be resolved and again the final block will be executed. So that is the syntax of try catch and the finally block. Now see how we can associate finally block here. So after the try and all the catch we can use finally. So that is the finally and here you can give your code. So I can give something called console dot write line right code for finally block and you can associate the step relevant step which is required for your post condition right. Right, I can give like C has finally block code. Okay. Now C exception is coming here. So your try and catch block will be executed, your exception will be handled, and your finally block will be also executed. Okay, you could see that is your exception and your finally block will be executed after the catch block, try and catch, right? And your code after the execution exception occur that is also executed. Right. Now say your exception does not occur. So you already seen your try and catch block is completely ignored in case exception no not occurred. Right. But your finally block will always executed. It does not matter whether exception is coming or not. So you could see code before exception occurred then finally block here try catch block is completely ignored because there is no exception 20 divided by 3 is a valid condition and code after exception occur. So that is the way you can deal with the try catch and finally block. I will try to give one more example here. Let's comment out this code. Let's try to, okay, uh, let's comment out also. Okay, so this is my two line of code here. Uh, exception before occur after occur and I will define some um, uh, string okay so string say colors that is my variable colors and where I want to uh, one dimensional string this is the one dimensional string equal to uh, I can give it within the double code like red. So I can define four or five color, right? Red, yellow, then white, then something called black, right? Call say blue, then call green like that okay so total I have defined six color so what is the size of my array colors it is six right for zeroth index first index second index third index fourth index and fifth index so total size of the array is six now in case I want to write access something I want to print something say console dot write lines color dot or maybe the color and then I can index thing here suppose say index 10 so here it is 6 variable right and total size is 6 so indexing will vary from 0 to 5 but here 10 I am trying to access element from the index 10 which is not, not valid here for the colors variable because size is 6 and indexing 0 to 5 so 0 to 5 in case you want to access that will be giving you the positive result but here you want to access 10 which is index out of bound so it will throw the error and your remaining line of code will not be executed you could see here it is throwing the error and remaining line of code is not executed here it is throwing the error at the line number 11 
what is the error index out of range exception right so you already see what is index out of range index out of range when an attempt to index an array by the index that is less than 0 or outside the bound of the array it will throw it so I can handle the exception now so what is the way I can do it with the help of the try block I will right try to uh, because my color is that is the variable I have declared now here I will be defining try block right so that is my code where I want to define right I want to get the result right what is the sorry I want to get the error what is the error is coming then I can surround with catch block where I can what is the error came index out of range that is the exception came right so I will be handling with the help of the catch block okay so index out of range e sorry catch here it will be index um, cut within the bucket I can create a variable called e and here I can print it out right line e dot message or like e only I can do it so you could see there will be no error now now let's try to execute it let's close it and let's try to execute it so error will be definitely there like because you want to write access which is outside your boundary but your code is executed so your exception is handled okay at the main line your exception is handled which is at the line number 13 now with the help of try block you are just trying to get the exception and with the help of the catch block you in case you want to solve the exception in case you do not know anything I already mentioned right you can surround with right exception only so it will handle all kind of generic exception now you can use the finally block here so so try catch and finally so finally will always come after the try and catch so it does not matter whether try catch is your exception is coming or not your finally block will be always executed you could see now your try catch with the help of the try catch you already got the exception you with the help of the catch sorry with the help of the try you are getting the exception with the help of the catch you are handling the exception and with the help of the final you are always executing it right it does not matter whether your exception is coming or not now let's see in case you want to access something at the index 1 so what value it will give you it will back give you the yolo and there will be no exceptions occurred so try block with the help of the try block no exception can be found so your catch block will be completely ignored in case you are not able to find an exception with the help of the try block but your finally block will always be executed so here you will get the desired result at the index 1 and your final block will be executed and all your code will be uh, will be executed you could see code before exception occur and this giving you yolo cs finally block always executed and code after exception occur now in case you are accessing some other thing right in case you want to index 5 so 0 first second third fourth and five still it is a valid one which will give you the green so you are again try and catch block will be completely ignored but your finally block will always be executed does not matter whether your exception coming or not now you can see it is giving you the green result and your finally block always executed code before exception and code before after, after exception this line of also executed so that is the way right in case you already know some exception might be occur so you can handle the exception with the help of the exact name of the exception and with the help of the try catch block and you you write in you can give multiple catch in a single try or you can give generic exception so that all kind of exception will be handled and in case your exception handle your remaining line of code will not be interrupted until any kind of failure is coming and you can surround try catch block with the finally block so that finally block will be always executed it does not matter whether any kind of exception coming or not so that's all from today's session guys thank you